performance was so grounded in such an authenticity and truth that although Hope makes some questionable choices and, you know, is quick to point blame, I felt a deep understanding and compassion toward her. Um, can you please talk about putting kind of her endurance front and center and the importance of showing her as a woman who has been grinding, adapting, dodging a kind of pre me to Los Angeles for 20 years and still yeah. needing to fight. I love that you felt all that, man. That makes me so happy and grateful. I, I felt all that too. I felt that um, her backstory seemed really obvious to me. Uh, you know, I mean, this is a woman, first of all, that presents as she's aging in an industry in a town that values youth and beauty and what's new and next above all else. So she's already a super underdog when you meet her. Um, and she's obviously a fighter because this is someone who has built a business and a reputation through grit and hard work. She's an excellent facialist. That was really important to me when I built this character. I said to Austin, the main thing I need to know is she has to actually be great at this job. That is her identity is that she's really good at it. And you see in the film, the time when she's the most calm and the most at ease is when she's actually doing the thing that she's great at. And I love that for this character. And I also love that she's somebody who, frankly, is very naive about technology. And what I felt was the most relatable aspect of her in the movie was um, that she her online presence like was completely out of her control because she just had no understanding of like, you know, I'm sure we used to joke on set that her password was her initials one, two, three, four, right? Like, or zero, 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 like anything guessable. Um, and so it felt to me that she was easily vulnerable um, in that scenario, like in a business that was changing around her very quickly. This is a woman who thinks she's going to sell product out of her storefront at a time when everything had moved online, when marketing was you yourself. It was your Instagram page. It was like, you are the product. The product is you. That's what the young people in the movie are telling her. And so she's so vulnerable in that position. It creates a real desperation in her. And so I'm so happy that you felt it was relatable in that way because I felt that way too. And then we could go on and on about the pre me too sexuality stuff. You know, I, I was, I said in the very beginning, there are so few avenues to power that women have and their sexuality, youth and beauty are the oldest one. And she clearly has been able to barter with that, manipulate it, use it as a way to get work done, to get things done for a very long time. But that's also something that's fading. It's also something that she's going to lose at some point. It, it, it all creates a cycle of desperation in her that leads to all her bad decisions and the fun of the movie. Oh, that was so beautifully said. I just got chills because it's so true. I mean, it's so smart to to have this film take place in 2013, I believe. It is yeah. that sort of, that time when social media was coming front and center and it was so confusing. Like, I remember I came out here into LA in 2009 and like that time period was so hard for creatives to kind of navigate this new landscape. And you see that in Hope and it's like, it's front and from the moment we meet her and the moment that she like does get, yes, like a little aggressive and like, paranoid it's earned though like we understand her desperation in that moment and it was just you know and just escalate it throughout the whole film it was just so brilliantly done yeah like she's literally physically confronted by everything that she's worried she's not in the in the character of angel who's put right across the street from her right so to me, it's such a great inciting incident. Like you're already a vulnerable. You already think like, I'm not good enough anymore. You know, all of those things that you're worried about. I'm not, I'm not as young. I'm not as beautiful. I don't have the newest thing. And then you meet the person who's everything that you're not. And they are doing the same thing. And so close to home, it's got to drive you crazy. And I just, that's what happens. She gets literally driven crazy and it makes yeah. me so happy. And it's very isolating too. And I think that isolation can you know you turn to sort of desperation when you feel that it's I love that you've sensed that isolation too you know this this is a woman who whose entire identity is her business right she has no husband she has no kids she doesn't even have a cat um it is the, the, her best friend she pays to be her assistant 
Like she has no one. She's actually exceedingly lonely at the top and isn't interested in forging any relationships because she's so afraid of the competition. And I felt, I really felt that that would ring true to a lot of viewers. Yeah, it does. It absolutely does. Well, that's my time. I could talk about this movie forever and I'm so <laughs> sorry about the little volume hiccup, but thank you so much, Elizabeth. Oh, this Meg, you really got it. So I oh. so appreciate it. Tell all your friends to go see Skincare August 16th. Oh my gosh. Oh, I will. I will. Thank you so much. Have a lovely rest of your day.